that's nice. Hey everybody, this is Ari Feldsman from Manhattan Edit Workshop here with the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. And this one is about editing with proxy files. First, I'm going to go up to my preferences. And I want to show you in the import section that you have two choices of files to transcode to. You can transcode to optimized media, which are Apple Pro S422 files, or you can transcode to proxy media, which are ProRes 422 proxy files with a much smaller bit rate. The advantage of that is that they are much smaller than ProRes 422 files and they are easier to play back. The disadvantage is the picture gets a little degraded and pixelated. You can switch back and forth between editing from original or optimized media and proxy media by going to the playback tab in your preferences. And by default, Final Cut Pro will have it at use original or optimized media. But I can click over here, use proxy media, and it will automatically link to the proxy files. And you can look in the viewer and see that the image got a little pixelated. I'll switch back to the original media, and that's a little clearer. I'll switch back and forth a couple times so you can see the difference. That's it. It's a really fast offline, online workflow. I'm Ari Feldman for Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thanks for watching.